The idea of the Global Futures Literacy Design Forum uh, started when we thought that it would be important to show uh, how people can become futures literate. So the goal of the forum was really to make clear that a lot of people can quite easily enter into the space in their heads related to thinking about the future. That imagining the future is something that's accessible to everybody and you can improve their capacity to imagine. So this is one of the things that I call an antidote to poverty of the imagination. And the forum really showcases how there's lots of different ways to engage people with their imaginations and get them to realize that they can themselves imagine the future. And therefore, they can become more, under, they can get a better understanding of where their hopes come from and where their fears come from, and also diversify their thinking about the future. So the idea was to demonstrate that in order to then say to governments and companies and communities, look, if you want to create more futures literacy, you can do it. It's not that hard. And we wanted to show that in the international diversified way that we did today with 28 different laboratories and people from all over the world. This forum was designed to generate energy, to show that futures literacy is something that's achievable, that's something that people can learn about and use in a very practical way. So we're building up a sense of confidence and a sense of um, uh, familiarity with the tools and the goals and the different ways of using the future. In order to, to, to get to that goal, we've brought together all these people who are able to express their different perspectives, but at the same time, be based on something that's very fundamental to all living things, which is we live in time space. And therefore, anticipation, integrating the future into a way we think is universal. T to build up the forum, we invited people to create experiences. We said, look, this is an opportunity to create a performative encounter. This is not a lecture. This is not being told. This is showing that you can experience imagination, that you can become more connected to your imagination. And we wanted people who are doing this in many different places, in many different ways, to show that it's doable. We didn't have very much time, uh, and we wanted to be global. And so we invited everybody to bring their own dinner. In English, we call this potluck, meaning you ask the chef to make their best dish and to come with their best dish. And when we sent out the invitation to the network, the, futures, the Global Futures Literacy Network, a lot of people said, I want to cook, I want to bring my dish. And so that's what they did. It's a very complementary and, and um, powerful dynamic that occurs when people realize that there's something they don't understand and they want to understand it better. And that means that everybody starts from where they are. To understand it better from a university perspective is to understand the anthropology, the culture, the history. To understand how narrative structure, the hero's journey, informs the way we, sh we actually shape our imagination. By understanding that, we're able to do things that we couldn't do before because we can imagine differently. So it's something that's done from a research perspective. It's something that's done in everyday experience. It's something that becomes like reading and writing, something that's very common, something that we do all the time, and that we're aware of as something that, 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 that opens up new worlds. And so I think that the diffusion of futures literacy um, depends on the investment across the board in many different kinds of futures literacy. One of our, my colleagues says, calls it futures literacies, plural. But the point at the bottom of all this is that anticipation is a crucial element in our relationship to the world around us. And that if we don't become more futures literate, we cannot overcome our fear of complexity, our, our sense of disempowerment because we can't control the world. And this is a very terrible feeling to have. So futures literacy is something that's really important all around the world, in today's world in particular. What, what follows on from this is work by a network of people developing tools and catalogs, developing resources 
for people who want to integrate. I don't say apply, it's not added on. It's integrated into what they're doing. In other words, the future is part of almost everything everybody does, but we don't think about it. The question is here is not to add the future on as something extra. It should be integrated within what we do and what we think. And so our hope is over the next year, we will develop more ways, more doors, more gifts, more invitations for people to be able to appreciate the unbelievable capacity that humans have to imagine.